Well, hopefully we're kind of growing out of that, and uh, I agree that it will be science that makes the discovery. And I think the next generation of telescopes that are being built might help us answer that question one way or the other. If there are civilizations out there with brains, one thing they might be doing is TV and radio, because it's quite a logical thing, and the next generation of radio telescopes should pick that up. Is it possible, though, that, uh, you know, life, intelligent life, has uh, evolved beyond that as perhaps we're evolving uh, towards computers and they look nothing like us at all and they don't need to look like us? That's very possible as well. And, in fact, I went to a scientific conference in 2010 when I heard a NASA uh, former chief historian say, we may be in a largely post-biological universe. And he was talking about artificial intelligence. And that might, of course, be a way that life forms could survive the rigors of space, whether it's the time involved to travel or, indeed, hostile things like cosmic rays. Do you think it is still a toss-up that there's life other than what we know about on Earth? I, I actually agree that there is probably going to be a, a universe teeming full of life, unless we thought there was something unique about Earth, um, so, unless we thought that life here was some sort of miracle, whether religious or secular. Um, really, the factors that gave rise to life here should replicate throughout the cosmos, and I think it is just a matter of time till we find them, or maybe they find us. I mean, you look into uh, UFOs and, uh, and things like that. What, what, in your view, is the best evidence we've had of there being some kind of extraterrestrial life? Well, most of the sightings we looked at were misidentifications, but the believers only need to be right once. And we did, in the Ministry of Defence, have some cases where these things were seen by pilots, simultaneously tracked on radar, uh, and where we got some very good photos and videos that even defense intelligence staff specialists couldn't debunk. So in amongst the Chinese lanterns and the weather balloons, there is some good stuff in the files too, so who knows? And the pictures and descriptions of people who claim that they've uh, been abducted by aliens give of the creatures that abducted them tend to be fairly consistent. Is that simply uh, sort of crowdsourcing of information, do you think? I think it could be people just picking up on the memes that they see in sci-fi movies. Maybe the reality is stranger than we could ever imagine. But, I mean, I think that question of whether or not we're alone is one of the biggest and most profound questions we can ask. And I really think it's one of those questions where we might genuinely, sooner rather than later, get a definitive answer.